COVID-19 is a man-made disease leaked from the research facility in Wuhan. 5G network started the COVID-19 virus through radiological waste spreading. Drink bleach in order to cure you of the COVID-19 virus. These are just some of the lies that have been spread through social media during the pandemic. During the course of the pandemic, I've come to realize two things. The first is why on earth did I have my grandma as a friend on my social media apps, as she is the one that sent me these messages. But secondly, and more importantly, I realize how powerful the role of social media is and the fact that it is an influential entity in its own right, which is easily able to spread information as rapidly as the virus itself. This is what led me to researching the role of social media during the pandemic, from helpful to harmful, from facts to fiction, and from advocating to alarming. Throughout this talk, I'll look at the rise of social media over the years, why we have become addicted, and what this has meant for us during the pandemic especially as the most recent impact of false news filtering through social media has been the low uptake of vaccinations in some communities. Let's start with the questions of what is social media, why is it so big, and what impact does it have on society? Before people had to use letters, emails, or even texts to send information from one place to another, pictures would be difficult to send and videos even harder. But suddenly, people were able to send any message, picture, or video to the whole world in the blink of an eye. Although we're moving on to the more interesting topics, we have to jump back to the year 1997, when Andrew Weinreich made the first recognizable social media site, Six Degrees. It enabled users to upload a profile and make friends with other users. Jump forward a few years to the year 2003, where MySpace, one of the most popular social media sites to date, was launched. One year later, the world's biggest social media site to date was launched, and it was known by the name of Facebook. After this, the list never stopped as YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram came about. Some people call their evolution of social media a great blessing. Others call it a curse. But in the current climate, the world isn't as just black and white. There are many advantages and disadvantages of social media. Firstly, let's get something straight. Social media has connected people across the world at the touch of a button. I could be sat in my room and know exactly what's happening across the world right now. Almost half of the world now uses social media. According to an information site known as Aberlo, there are 3.78 billion social media users in the year 2021, a 5% increase from a year ago. This shows the year-on-year -year rise of social media and how news and information can now spread to across half of the world instantaneously without any interruption. As of March 2020, 21% of the country spent longer on social media than they ever did before. Helpfully, it was used to spend the, spread the guidance rules around COVID-19, as well as what the impact was around the world. Although this may seem like one of the world's most advanced and flawless creations of technology, there are two words that counter this, and these words are fake news. Fake news is one of the world's strongest viruses today. People think that fake news is just some harmless fun and doesn't lead to any real impact. However, in the first three months of 2020, at least 800 people around the world may have died due to coronavirus-related misinformation. Also, according to the American Journal of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene, around 5,800 people around the world were admitted to hospital as a result of drinking methanol and alcohol-based cleaning products. These products were wrongly thought to be a cure for the virus. Death spread through social media, pain spread through social media, and darkness spread through social media. People are being lied to through the means of social media, and instead of it helping people, it's been used to misinform and wreak havoc. I'm calling for change. I'm calling for justice. 
Should the tech giants do more to help put an end to misinformation and filter fake news? The world is changing, so why aren't we? We need to act now, for if we don't, we may become prisoners with our, within our own walls. Thank you for listening. <laughs>